What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here. And I have some terrible news for all Ranger fans, including me. We have just gotten eliminated from the 2019 playoff contention in the NHL. I have recently went on to ESPN and we're right underneath the eliminated status. We, we're not the only team that got eliminated. We also got eliminated alongside the Buffalo Sabres, which recently turned bad again. But they, they were as bad as last year. They were a dead horse last year. Which is an overused term. What, what I'm trying to say is that they were dead last year. Because the word dead horse is a bit overused and it accidentally just slipped out of my mouth. We have been eliminated once again from the 2019 playoff contention. Sorry for using the word dead horse. It's an overused term. And we have ha we haven't had such a such a good march this year because every two weeks we would win a game and mostly we would get like very huge losing streaks. We are officially a no show in the Stanley Cup playoffs because we're having a very hard rebuild. We have just we lost Matt Zuccarello, and now we have an even worse impact than ever before. I mean, obviously we're not in last place yet because the Devils are sitting in last place. They've been stuck in last place all year, but if the Devils were still doing good, then we would have been stuck in last place all year. Just like how the Buffalo Sabres did last year. I mean, our rebuild has been so bad since 2017. 2017 had a bad evolution to the Rangers in the NHL because so many teams were changing and it led to so many problems last year because the Rangers didn't make the playoffs just like 2010. The 2017-18 NHL season was exactly like the 2009-10 NHL season due to big names of teams missing the playoffs that have such big names. I mean, this is actually the first time the Rangers are missing the playoffs alongside the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils. Because sadly, whenever the Rangers miss the playoffs, we end up missing the playoffs with the Islanders, who are like, who are like right behind us in standings. They used to be right behind us, but not anymore. Due to adding Barry Trot and Barzell, they'll be the only New York team making the playoffs. Thankfully for Parade Man 1986 Studios. But they had a very sick loss when I went to the Coliseum on March 19th, 2019. I mean. I just can't believe, I mean, we got eliminated way earlier than last year because we got eliminated on March 27th, which was five days before Easter. But now we got eliminated like overnight because Montreal being the Buffalo Sabres and they're, they're safely in a wild card 
but they're in a bit of trouble alongside Columbus. I mean, the, I mean, despite us winning against the Toronto Maple Leafs, it wasn't gonna work. We would not be in the hut any longer, no matter what happened last night. I mean, it would have been so definite if we got destroyed by Toronto, because late, because for the past year we were getting spanked by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Because they've been such a good team, and with John Tavares joining them, which was a sad, sad story for all Islander fans. I mean, with the Rangers looking so bad and having a very bad March this year, where I feel like we're just gonna reach 50 losses because of how it looks. It looks way better than, better than last year. Because uh, I just knew we weren't going to do good this year. It's been so hard for us to stay alive this year. Than last year when we had a good run in the beginning of the season. But we had a very slow October. And we had a slow October this year. That's when I knew things were just going to get ugly for us. Like, I, back in October 2017, I didn't know what the heck was going on with us. But it turns out we were just starting to look so sloppy. Due to trades and everything. And with the new expansion of the Vegas Golden Knights. Which turned into a monster last year. There would be a team that would expand and become a monster, obviously. And after all, we lost two, both our games to the Vegas Golden Knights in the Garden on the road. But with us being eliminated and we just lost Matt Zuccarello and so many familiar faces, I don't think we're going to do good next year. Unless if we get big names in the NHL draft. But... I'm really scared about next year, as I was this year. It's looking, I'm, I'm more scared of next year than I was this year because I just don't know what's going to happen. And obviously in even years the Rangers look more slower than they do in odd years. Because we get very slow runs every now and then. I mean, even in even years when we make the playoffs, we still had slow runs, which look so nerve-wracking. But we still we still made it. But now it's good. I feel like it's going to take a few years for us to get back in the playoffs because of because of what's been going on lately with the loss of Matt Zuccarello. But there's one thing I'm not afraid of. Matt Zuccarello is becoming a free agent. And we could get him back. There could be a definite chance. But if we don't, it is what it is. I mean, if we don't get him back, I can understand why we're going to look bad next year. Hopefully everything goes well for us in the future. Because I know this year we're not making the playoffs at all. We're not making it. The Philadelphia Flyers aren't making it. And the Devils aren't making it on division. Because. We are like one of the top, top three struggling teams in the Metropolitan Division. But. At least we're not like the Ottawa Senators t as they are today because the Rangers could sometimes turn things around still. I, they'll never change that. But this has been a rough season for us. And it's like time to put them in rest mode till next year. 
I just gotta have to make the best of it for the next two weeks because the season's at dying days now. And the, thankfully, thankfully this Thursday the Mets are coming back. And I'll have someone to watch this summer. Hopefully they'll turn everything around. Because right now I don't have any New York teams. Ex excluding the Yankees that do good. I guess that's it. Bye.